Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to alien watch series where we are covering the awesome so in this series we already cover up the most of the stuff now we are heading towards the end of this series and uh, this video will be the second last video of this series uh, where we are going to install the log forwarding agent known as uh, for this series i'm going to use nx log I will show you how to install NX log and how to configure NX log to collect the logs. Because this is the one where we where which is used to forward the logs to your SIEM solution, to your alien vault console or the server. So we already discussed about the introduction. I also show you the detailed uh, uh, view of how to install the servers and certain plugins. Then we already discussed the overview of the web console, how the console looks, and we already discussed and then also installed the sysmon. So for this uh, this video, if you haven't seen the sysmon uh, yet, uh, it's important for you to check this one uh, before uh, watching this video. So without wasting time, uh, let's have a look how to install the NX log. So first of all, let's open your new tab and right here, download NX log. Uh, download NX log or just write community edition. So let's proceed to the community. Uh, yeah. Now you will see that not NX log is the community edition. Then select your operating system again and select the Windows. Windows 86 or the 64. Then simply hit the download or hit no thanks. Start download. So here is the download. Let me see my folder where it is. So it's it is here. And also in my download. So let's give a hit and install the NS log. Uh, I prefer to download it in the recommended uh, directory or the default directory. Just try and give keep writing the nest, and it will not take all too long. Just a few seconds to download it. Okay, don't read to need to read the readme. Just hit the finish. So let's proceed to our install directory uh, where it is installed and see. Yes, here it is. Now the NX log is here and this is the directory. Let's see what's going in our services. Uh, just hit NS log and yes, here you can see the NS log is running. I prefer to stop it uh, here. Because we need to actually install the uh, set up the configuration files first of all. If you go into your uh, SLO config file, here is one configuration file. It's the default configuration file, but we need to replace it if we want to use the system uh, with it and the uh, same solution area involved. So so here are the configuration file. I uh, actually modified this NS log configuration file furthermore to be make it usable with the sysmon as well. Uh, let me show you the further configuration. So when you open this file, you need to actually modify uh, a couple of things. First of all, scroll down. You will see the two directories uh, as defined root. So here you need to specify actually the root directory where you actually install the NX log. In my case, if I will to show, I actually install in the C directory program files and then NX log. So here I just uncommented that directory, uh, which is naming it like this C program files and NX log. I uncommented this one. Uh, you will get something like this. We just need to remove the hashtag so that this, this line will be uncommented. Uh, first thing, this one, you need to specify the directory here where you install the NS log. 
this and this is the first thing second thing you need to specify the ip address of your the server what's your uh, agent world server ip address you need to specify here you will get something uh, to write there will be a text you just need to replace that text with the ip address uh, this is the second thing uh, to be remembered uh, then i actually uh, uh, modified the nx log uh, i actually uncommented some parts and just modified it i will drop this uh, configuration file link to in, in, in the video description so it will be easy for you to get this configuration uh, and replace it with your old one this is one thing and i also if i show you are also modified the sysmon part here i actually uncommented all the sysmon part so because i am using the sysmon to generate the logs uh, that's why I need, it's important for me to uncomment all the these lines to be used uh, in this tutorial session. So now it's our time to actually use these NS log in our default configuration. Okay, here you can see that the my server is already running. Uh, let me open my browser and let's try to access the web console. So I will specify the IP address uh, 1.199 of my server, remote server, and let's try to access it. Okay, so as the, again back to the login page, let give us me the that this the credentials. Okay, now we are back to our console. Let's uh, go into the analysis, then the security events. And from here, go into the real time. Okay. So you can see that there is there are uh, currently no sysmon logs or the events from the sysmon. So let me go back in the and let me show you other my NS logs uh, running or not. So here you can see that it's, it was terminated. The request was terminated and it actually terminated the process. So it's not in the running state right now. Uh, and I'll. I will confirm it from here and from the service. So let's give a start back. Okay, now NS log uh, has been started. Go back and let me give it a refresh and see and confirm from the console. Okay, you can see the service has been started at this time. So this this is what the one way of the confirmation, and let's see if our alien walls has started or let me know or not. Okay, you can see now our awesome console has started collecting the logs. So this one NS log, this one NS log, this one NS log. Uh, so so this is the how you can actually. I just saw the source IP as well. Let me go into the scene. Rather than the uh, real time, and to check uh, what were the logs. Okay, AV machine. This is the source. So here you can see that the sysmon logs. Uh, it actually collected some of the sysmon logs. Uh, sensor which was it was AV machine, and this was the host. So 192.168.11 was the host. If I again go in CMD and show you the IP of my system, you will see that yes, it's 192.11.1.11. So, and here you can see it's 1.1, same like those. So, it's 111. So, 
this was the example of how you can actually implement uh, the NX log with the sysmon and connect it with your seam solution to actually start fetching the logs. So in the next video, I will show you how you can actually create an alert and automate it to mitigate the alert if it happened. I will use the brute force attack uh, to affect the system.